space rides superhero school. Its next student is boldly going to learn what no other superhero has learned before. Yes, this is the story of Maths Man. For the of man, it's Maths Man. How many equal parts can you find? <laughs> My next student. Write this under the dividing line. Yes. Let's make a start. Now, which superhero are you? Batman? No. Banana Man? No. Vacuum Cleaner Man? No. Oh, yes, here you are, Maths Man. Yes. Ready to build and split whole numbers into parts of numbers other superheroes cannot reach. Ah, right, you're studying fractions. And according to my records, today it's quarters and eighths. Quarters and eighths? Hmm, eighths. That seems like a bigger number, but is it a bigger fraction? Let the training commence. OK, maths man, think of a shape and mind zap it for me. How about a rectangle? Oh, very impressive. Let's divide your rectangle into equal parts. <laughs> Colour part of it in. Now, what fraction of the shape is coloured in? Well, that's quarters. I can do quarters. That's four equal parts and three parts coloured in. So that's three quarters coloured in. Very impressive, maths man. You've been practising. OK, I think we're ready to move on to the next fraction. Here's a rectangle. Now to divide it into equal parts. Hang on, that's quarters. We've done quarters. Patience, maths man, I haven't finished yet. I'm now going to split those quarters into half. Now, what fraction of the shape is coloured green? Oh, I think I'm going to need that rhyme. Can you remember the rhyme for the bottom number? That's the denominator. It goes, how many equal parts can you find? Write this under the dividing line. Well, oh, there are quite a few equal parts and each of them looks pretty small. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight equal parts altogether. So the eight goes under the dividing line. Now for the top number. That's the numerator. The rhyme goes, how many parts do we want this time? Write this number above the line. Well, the coloured parts are the ones we want this time. And there are one, two, three, four, five. So the five goes above the dividing line. So that's five parts out of the eight, or five over eight, which is five eighths. Bravo, maths man. Now it's time for some dancing. Uh, I'm not very good at dancing. Not you dancing, a dancing shape. When it splits up, your job is to call out the fractions you see. <laughs> Seven eighths and one eighth. Three eighths and five eighths. Four eighths and four eighths. So how did you do? Oh, no probs. I recognise them all. Good, because it's time to walk the fraction number line. Oh, no, your wholeness. Please, don't make me walk the fraction number line tightrope. Maths man. Yes? You're already on it. <gasps> now, off you go, and listen as those fractions are called out. One eight. That was quick, just a few steps and a fraction already. I think I can guess what fraction's coming next. See if you can call them out. Two eighths. Three eighths. Four eighths. This feels like halfway. So what's another way of writing four eighths? One half. Yes, of course, a half. 
five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, one. And one is the same as eight eighths. Ooh. Well done, maths man. Guess what's next? At your superhero school, it's time to meet Colin Cool. Pay attention, it's time for action. All join in with Find the Fraction. Find the Fraction! <laughs> Hi, Colin Cool's the name. Fractions are the game in today's Find the Fraction. <laughs> okay, we have the blues, we have the red, and we have the question. Let's play. Find the fraction. <laughs> Find the fraction. <laughs> now, the team that has the most points will go on to the Find the Fraction physical challenge. Look to your monitors. Question number one. Which shape, yes, which shape shows five eighths colored green? Is it A, B, or C? Make your choice and find the fraction. Time's up, and both teams have answered A, and the answer to the question is A. <laughs> Give yourselves two points. Look to your monitors, question number two. Take a look at this number line. But what fraction is missing? A, four eighths, B, five eighths, or C, three quarters. Make your choice, find the fraction. And time's up. <laughs> Incredibly, both teams have chosen B. The answer to the question is B. <laughs> well done. Give yourselves two more points. And look to your monitors, question number three. Which fraction, yes, which fraction is the biggest? Is it A, three quarters? Is it B, four eighths? Or is it C, two quarters? Make your choice and find the fraction. And time's up, <laughs> and both teams have chosen A. And the correct answer to the question is A. Well done. Give yourselves two more points. <laughs> now, this noise means we've run out of time. Let's count up the scores. The blue team have scored six, and the red team have scored six. So it's time to ask the tie break question. I'll ask the question the first team to give the answer wins. Are you ready? What is a half of a half? A quarter. Is the correct answer. And the blue team is this week's winners. Come and join me for the Find the Fraction Physical Challenge. For, for find the Fraction Physical Challenge. <laughs> now, Jonathan, your job is to find the eighth blocks and the quarter blocks hidden within the balloons. And your job, Sophie, is to build a fraction wall with them. Can they do it? Let's find out when we find the fraction. Today, the blue team are looking for four quarter blocks and eight eight blocks. And time's up! Come and join me! <laughs> Didn't they build well? <laughs> Let's have a look at your fraction wall. You have four quarters, and that makes one whole, and you have eight eighths, and that makes one whole too. Congratulations, you've built the perfect quarter and eighth fraction wall. <laughs> but sadly, we've run out of time. But never mind, we'll see you next time on Find the Fraction. <laughs> Now, maths man, a question. Do you like pizza? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. OK, imagine you're about to tuck into a succulent piece. Which would you rather have? Three quarters of a whole, 
or five-eighths of the pizza? Well, I'd want the biggest piece. So which is the bigger fraction? Three quarters or five-eighths? Oh dear. Both the top numbers are different. Oh, but even worse, so are the bottom numbers. I need help. Stand aside, maths man. Help is at hand. It's the fraction wall. Mmm, that's interesting. Look at the middle of the wall. One half is the same as two quarters, which is the same as four eighths. Hey, just a second. Fantastic fractions, look at those numbers. A half is the same as two quarters, which is the same as four eighths. All those fractions are exactly the same. Or we could say they are equivalent. Can you see a pattern in those numbers? There's one there somewhere. Anyway, back to my question. Would I rather have three quarters of spicy pepperoni pizza or five eighths? Well, five eighths is that much. And three quarters is that much. And three quarters of pizza is more than five eighths. Oh, so it has to be three quarters every time. That's right. And you can have some later. Let's move on. What is three-eighths of 16? Well, uh, one-eighth is smaller than 16, and two-eighths is a little bit bigger than that, isn't it? So um, three-eighths would be... Would you take away the... Stop! Stop! Perhaps it would help if I turn the number 16 into something a little easier. Now, the best way of finding three-eighths of something is to find one-eighth first. Trust me, our wholeness is rarely wrong. Here's the top of the fraction wall. Now, split the 16 tomatoes into the little boxes. There. So, 1 eighth of 16 is 2, 2 eighths of 16 must be 4, and 3 eighths of 16 must be 6. So, 3 eighths of 16 equals 6. Well done! There is another way of doing this. We could have split the 16 into eight equal groups, like this. Wait a minute. 16 split into eight groups is the same as saying 16 divided by eight. So to find an eighth of a number, you divide by eight. Exactly. Come on, find the answers to these questions. Come on, see if you can work them out as well. Find one-eighth of 24. One-eighth of 24. That's 24 divided by 8, and 24 divided by 8 equals 3. So one-eighth of 24 is 3. <laughs> one-eighth of 40. One-eighth of 40. That's 40 divided by 8. And 40 divided by 8 equals 5, so 1 eighth of 40 is 5. Well done, maths man. Both correct. Oh, no, not again. Yes? What? The diddler? Where? A house? Children? Oh, no. What is it? That dastardly diddliest diddler is up to some more of his diddling deeds down on planet Earth. Those children need a superhero. They need... Maths, man. I'm on me way. How to make a birthday cake? Shh, it's supposed to be a surprise for Mum. What are you two up to? Quick, it's Mum. We must make sure she doesn't come into the kitchen. Margarine. Yep. Four eighths of the eggs. Yep. Three and six eight tablespoons of 
jam. Hang on a minute, some of these measurements sound a bit odd. I don't know how to measure some of these fractions. What are we going to do? What we need is another recipe. No, what we need is... Mass Match! It's a bird! Is that five? No, it's Matt's man. Ready to build and split whole numbers into parts of numbers other superheroes cannot reach. Greetings, Earth children. What seems to be the problem? We're trying to make a cake, but we can't work out these measurements. They're in fractions. Oh, right. I think I know what'll come in handy. Move to one side while I mind zap a fraction wall. Now, what were those measurements? Two eighths of the margarine. Two eighths of the margarine. Ah, hmm. oh, look. Two eighths is the same as a quarter, which means you want a quarter of the margarine. To find a quarter of the margarine, we need to cut the margarine in half and then cut one of those halves in half again, like this. So now you have one quarter. Got that? Yep. Good. Now what do you need? We need four eighths of the eggs. Four eighths of the eggs. Back to the fraction wall. Look, four eighths is the same as two quarters, which is the same as a half, which means you need a half of the eggs. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs, and we want half of them, which is four. Good. Any more fractions? Yes, we need three, six, eight tablespoons of jam. Hmm. You'll definitely need three whole tablespoons, but six eighths. Back to the fraction wall. Now then, six eighths. Look, that's the same as three quarters, which means you need three quarters of a whole spoonful of jam. So, get a whole spoonful. That's it. Now take off one quarter. You need to go into the middle for a half, and then find half of that half. And that leaves three quarters. That looks about three quarters, don't you think, Mass Man? I think that looks just right. So now you can finish making your cake. Thanks, Mass Man. You're the best. No problem. And remember, when you don't understand and you need a hand, who you gonna call? Mass Man! Up, up and away! How did I do, Your Holiness? You did well, maths man. So do I get a medal? You do. Well done, maths man. That's it for today. Thanks, Your Holiness. Uh, excuse me? Yes, you out there. Before you complete your quarters and eighths course, here's a challenge. Remember when Maths Man found one quarter of the margarine? He cut the whole piece in half and then in half again. So, can you think of a quick way of finding one quarter of the number 60? Until next time, let the fraction force be with you. Bye.